Mahamar is one of my favorite uh, dips. It's walnuts, it's uh, roasted red peppers, it's a little pita. We have a little cumin in it. Uh, if you want to raise the amp up the cumin, you just put it in a skillet for just a couple minutes and toast and it. And toast it up? Yeah. And then uh, the red peppers, a couple jars of those. Uh, these are sweet, uh, not spicy. Um, and then we have, you can use uh, red pepper flakes. Uh, we have a little Aleppo pepper in here. So if you can find it, if not, just use the... Uh, the uh, you can order anything online, you guys. And, uh, you know, until I started cooking from home for 20 months, I, I was so ignorant to uh, how much you can buy in comparison to shop from, from home. It's, so, it's fantastic. There's any, it, it is. You get anything. Um, and then pomegranate molasses... This is something you can actually find in the supermarket now. It's just pomegranate juice cooked down. It's sort of like maple syrup, right? I mean, yeah. It's the same thing. Or, you know, the balsamic drizzles and things like that. You just So we're down. going to use three tablespoons of it. So pomegranate molasses, uh, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, and then olive oil, of course. Yum. And I put... Um, a little uh, jewels of, of pomegranate seed on this when we make this at our house. I mean, I just love it so much. Oh, my God. Oh, this is, yeah, this is good. Can I steal a little bit? Yeah. Absolutely. Can I just steal a little bit? Pay no attention. Chris will be with you. <laughs> little parsley on top. Mm. This is the best. So good. It is so delicious. So uh, now we're going to uh, roast potatoes, two and a half pounds of potatoes. Uh, we cook these, pre-cook these in a very salty water, two quarts of water, half a cup of salt. Wow. So they're salt potatoes. They're great. So uh, we'll let them cool and then we smash them. But then we're going to make a sauce, uh, and this comes from Somalia, uh, bas bas sauce, which is cilantro, Greek yogurt, a couple of chilies, a little bit of lemon juice and, and vinegar. We're going to have a sauce, and then we're going to finish cooking the potatoes. <laughs> These uh, are pre-cooked, and then they're going to go into an oven to finish. We have a little bit of oil uh, on top, which has some ginger uh, and pepper on it. Put those in a hot oven for about half an hour. Let me just pile them on here, Chris. Pile them on there. Yeah. I'll do this. <laughs> That's gorgeous. So gorgeous. Yeah, we're, we're into good colors here. So now we're going to do something called polpitone. Polpitone means meatloaf, but it's all with vegetables. So there's mashed potatoes, mm. mushrooms, uh, green beans, uh, and then a little bit of marjoram in there. And then we're going to take two eggs uh, and a little bit of Parmesan, of course. Or a lot. Or a lot of Parmesan, <laughs> yes. Good point. I know, right? It's basically just... There's some glue to hold the cheese onto all the other ingredients. What, the vegetables are the glue? You mean, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. yeah. So put that in a uh, casserole dish. Who doesn't love a casserole? I mean, it just is such a friendly thing. Casseroles and hamburgers make me happy. Well, this casserole is usually made ahead of time and then yeah. sliced, uh, and you serve it at room temperature. So for the holidays, uh, it's just what really easy to thing. do. Yeah. Right. So... And then you pop a topper on it. Panko, a little Parmesan, a little melted butter. Oh. Goes on top. Heaven. And that just goes into an oven, 400 degree oven, for about half an hour. Oh, look. And look. Chris, just... there's one beautifully rested right here on the counter. Everyone in the audience actually gets to go home a couple pounds heavier. <laughs>